What is the cause of each and every one of these problems? Not to mention the deforestation, the environmental destruction, Donald Trump, Brett, whatever. What is the cause of every single one of these problems? Because I tell you what, until we figure out what the actual problem is, there is no point shouting about these things. Until we actually identify the true cause of the problem, until we actually talk, start to offer some alternatives and some solutions, there is little point about just shouting about the problems. So what is at the root of all of these things? What is the single thing that lies at the heart of all of these problems? Conservatives specifically, but mostly government. <laughs> government is part of it, but it's deeper than that. It's deeper even than that. I mean, the system is a bit of a vague term, right? Fuck the system, that's a bit of a vague term. It has almost come not to mean anything. It's just an angry shout, right? But we need, we need to be better organised. We need to be more intelligent. We need to have better arguments rather than shouting that things are shit. We have got to be more constructive than that. So what lies at the heart of all of these problems? For me, for me, the physical manifestation is money. But it's deeper than that. We've been taught, we've come to believe, we believe it deep down in our souls that we are separate from each other and that we've been put on this earth to compete with each other. This is not right. We have had our, we've had our sense of community, our sense of oneness, our sense of interconnectedness. We've had that taken away from us and until we claim that back, nothing is going to change. The real cause of all of the problems that I mentioned is us. We go along with this shit. We don't shout loud enough. We don't object. We don't fail to participate. We don't take personal risks. This is what we need to do. If you actually want change, these are the things that you need to do. Just standing and shouting that things are shit. Uh, yeah, they're shit. I understand your anger. We all feel it. But you've got to express it in a constructive manner Fuck if it is going to get us anywhere. Right, my voice is about to die. If someone else wants to take the megaphone. No to Corbyn. No to Corbyn. No to all of them. It does not make any difference which one of these clowns sits in number 10 Downing Street. It makes no difference. Nothing is going to change while we continue to vote for these people. Nobody's talking about the dissolution of the monetary system. Nobody's talking about actual democracy. Nobody's talking about the abolition of the, abolition of the first past the post system. Nobody's talking about multi-party politics. You know, where are the real we alternatives the when we go to vote? There are none. So stop participating in it. If you want things to change, stop participating in that which you know is evil and twisted and wrong. Every time you go and vote, every time you take out a loan, every time you use your credit card, you are legitimizing these things. You are legitimizing these bastards. Stop doing it. Stop going along with it. That is why it continues, because we go along with it. How many of us are here today? A few hundred of us? It's pathetic. It's pathetic. Next year, every single one of you here today, make a pledge that each one of you brings 10 people with you to this thing next year. Make a personal pledge to yourself right now. Get out. Yeah, we need to get out on the street, have more people doing this kind of thing. Maybe one day, someone from a news agency will come down here and this shit will get on TV, right? That is what we need. We need a platform on which we can communicate. But while we're throwing beers at cars walking down the street and shouting abuse at police officers and at each other, we are going to get fucking nowhere. We look like a bunch of thugs out for a booze up.